Alrighty guys, I got some bad news for those that want to see Windows FLP running on this. I get this error. I can't get, if I um, retry to do it so many times, the same old error message is going to come up. It keep telling me the same thing right here. That error code. So, I'm going to have to do a little something different. So, I will do a little bit of editing on this video. So, I'm about to do a different OS. Put back the original OS, which you'll be seeing in, in about a few minutes. Alright All right, guys, now since I'm on, this is the next part of the video, you wonder, you're going to guess what OS I'm installing this time. It's on... So it's Windows 2000, and that's what's going back onto the computer, because that's what its original OS is. Because there's a COA label for Windows 2000 underneath this laptop, and there's also one for Windows NT4. Because I saw on the COA label, there's two product keys that would go for this computer, and I did stick the 40 gigabyte hard drive back in it. And put the screen down so you guys can see what's... and right now it's almost done let's get to this part right there then I gotta install the drivers and I gotta reinstall all the software so I'll stick around stick around to the next part Now, I just installed all the drivers, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to log in. I just put in the password. So hold on a minute, let me go ahead and fix that background. Yeah. I installed, reinstalled all the drivers except for the PCI serial port. Hold on a minute, let me get something straight here. Oh well. Let me adjust my screen resolution. There we go, now we got color. Yep, no, that look way much nicer. And yep, it is Windows 2000. Then I gotta install the rest of my programs now. Let me take the CD. Oh, I must have picked the CD up already. I had all my drivers. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys later. Cause I'm about to go ahead and put in all my programs back. So. Thanks for watching. Bye.